Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we learned about the query cache feature in React Query. One of the uses of caching the query results is being able to reuse the results for subsequent queries. That will allow the user to view the previously fetched data without having to view the loading indicator every single time, thus leading to a slightly better user experience. And we witnessed that with our superheroes query. So if you navigate to our queue superheroes, we see loading text and then the superheroes list. Go home, come back, we don't see the loading indicator anymore. Now another use of query cache is to reduce the number of network requests for data that doesn't necessarily change too often. For example, let's say our list of superheroes does not change often and it is okay if the user sees stale data for a while. In such cases, we can use the cached query results without having to refetch in the background. To achieve that behavior, we configure another property called stale time. Let's see how it works with an example. At the moment, if we navigate to our queue superheroes, navigate away and come back, a background request is triggered to fetch the latest data. But as the developer, I know that the list of superheroes does not change often. Even if it does, it is okay if the user is seeing stale data for perhaps 30 seconds. What we can do then is add another property called stale time and set it to 30 seconds for our use query hook. So back in VS Code, we're gonna set stale time 30 seconds and the cache time, I'm in fact going to fall back to the default value of five minutes as that is perfectly reasonable. So I'm going to remove the option since the default value is what we need. Our configuration is now cache duration of five minutes with stale time of 30 seconds. Let's save the file and head back to the browser. We are on the home page and we have no queries cached. Navigate to our queue page and we see the superheroes query. But what is different now is the query has a fresh flag instead of stale. And the query will remain fresh for 30 seconds. What that means is if we navigate home and come back, in the network tab, you can observe that the query is not fetched in the background. So in addition to ease loading being false, is fetching is also false. There is no additional request within the 30 second time frame. If I now go back home, refresh, go to RQ Superheroes and wait 30 seconds, you can see the query has now turned stale from fresh. So if you were to go home and come back, you should see a request in the network tab and in the console is fetching what's true and then false. This indicates a background request to fetch the latest data. And the new data once again holds good for 30 more seconds. This is how you can reduce the number of network requests during the stale time coupled with the query cache. Now a very important detail to note is that the default stale time is zero seconds, which is why previously every visit to the React query superheroes page would trigger a background refetch. Zero seconds is probably the safest value you can set to stale time 
which is why it is also the default value. But you, as the developer, know your application best, so tweak the value based on your requirements. All right then, thank you for watching. Please do leave a like if you're finding the videos helpful and I'll see you in the next one.